Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Patrick. Um, I'm an author. I'm from Southern California, but I live in Northern California. And um, I wanted to start using this channel a little bit more, do some reviews on things, uh, whether it's books, maybe movies from time to time. I think there's plenty of reviewers for that, but um, yeah, maybe movies, books, um, collectibles. I've collected a lot of movie stuff over the years and thought, you know, sometimes I don't really get to show it to many people except the people that come over, friends and stuff that visit. So I thought maybe some people online might want to check it out and see, you know, see if it's anything that they, they might be interested in picking up or, uh, you know, uh, want some feedback on it maybe. Um, and then as I'm also an author, um, I'm the author of The House That Fell From The Sky. Um, I did Silver's Hollow, which was the sequel, unofficial sequel. Um, and then Witch 13, uh, my friend Justin Coons did the uh, art for this, which turned out incredible. Um, this isn't really a channel about my writing necessarily, but I do write, so there's that. Um, and right now I'm doing edits for the sequel to The House That Fell From The Sky, The Return to The House That Fell From The Sky. Um, so I'm working on that and hoping to have that out in October. Um, I might do a signing over here at Barnes & Noble, so that's the plan right now, if I can get it done in time. Um, and my friend Wolford did the cover for that one too, so shout out to him for the help. It turned out awesome. And my friend Ross did the original cover, and then Wolford did the cover to this one, and it, uh, it carries the same vibe. It turned out great. Both of them did a phenomenal job. And then as far as my current reads that I'm doing, um, I've got... This one called Mr. Magic. Um, this is by Kirsten White. And I'll read the synopsis so you guys kind of just have an idea of like what it's about. Um, I feel like it's, I'm not the most articulate person unless I have time to really get my thoughts down, but I didn't want to feel like this was very rehearsed. So I'll just read the synopsis and then give you the, my thoughts on this. <clears throat> um, In the 30 years since a tragic accident shut down production of the classic children's program, Mr. Magic, the five surviving cast members have done their best to move on. But just as generations of cultishly, cultishly devoted fans still cling to the lessons they learned from the show, the cast, known as the Circle of Friends, have spent their lives searching for the happiness they felt while they were on it. The friendship, the feeling of belonging, and the, the protection of Mr. Magic. With no surviving video of the show, no evidence of who directed or produced it, and no records of who or what the beloved host actually was, memories are all the former circle of friends have. Then a twist of fate brings the castmates back together at the remote desert filming compound that feels like it's been waiting for them all this time. Even though they haven't seen each other for years, they understand one another better than anyone has since. After all, they're the only ones who hold the secret of that circle, the key to the mystery of the magic man and his infinitely black cape, and maybe the answers to what really happened on that deadly last day. But as the circle of friends reclaim parts of their past, they begin to wonder, are they here by choice or have they been lured into a trap? Because magic never forgets the taste of your friendship. That, I feel like, summarizes pretty well what this book's about. Um, I haven't finished it, just a disclaimer, and I'm probably not going to go into any spoilers that I have read. I will say that it kind of reminds me of, um, like, uh, if you took Mr. Rogers and put, like, a horror spin on that, then I would say that's a good approximation of, of kind of, like, what this is. Um, it's, yeah, there's, you know, like I said, I haven't finished it, so I'm not, I don't really know how to, uh, explain it without going too off the rails but um yeah there's a show nobody seems to remember anything about it i mean they remember little vague memories things about it but nothing concrete they don't even know if mr magic was a person or a puppet or more of a notion or an idea and uh nobody can seem to make up their minds about that so far um the friends the story takes place uh or takes place in a desert like the synopsis says for the most part, it starts on a ranch, and then Val, who um, was taken f from, she's basically kidnapped from the show by her father, and uh, that was when the show just ended, and there isn't really, hasn't been an explanation yet as to what 
where that kind of went. So I'm curious to see what happens. It's really intriguing. There's little entries in between the chapters to kind of give you a little more insight into things. Like there's a Wikipedia entry about the show, like a fake one. Um, it kind of gives you an idea of, of what's happening with, with uh, you know, as far as pop culture references go within the book uh, for this. So yeah, I would definitely check it out if you can. Um, I'm enjoying it so far. I'm probably about halfway. So we're getting there. But um, yeah, I'm curious to see how that one turns out. And um, if you like this video, feel free to subscribe to my channel and hopefully I'll get some more reviews, uh, maybe a, a follow-up so I can give you my thoughts on the ending of this one. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.